today, our viewer has asked if a whole food plant-based diet can help with treating POTS. POTS, P-O-T-S, ready for the uh, medical term of the morning here that uh, you can look up the rest of the day. This is postural orthostatic tachycardia syndrome. What does that mean? Uh, our bodies are so wonderful and amazing. Uh, let me explore a little bit of physiology here. When you're laying in bed, the blood flow, and we've got about eight pints of blood circulating through the body, about four and a half, five liters. Um, the blood flow is pretty evenly distributed throughout the whole body. As soon as we get vertical in the morning, as soon as you literally get up out of bed and you are standing up, walking to the bathroom, from that moment, gravity starts exerting effect and it's relentless and it starts pulling blood out of our head down to our legs. And all of us would pass out halfway across the bedroom as the blood drained out of our head, blood pressure drops, and there's not enough blood flow going through our brain to keep the lights on. But we don't. Uh, we, most of us are able to get up and walk into the bathroom and don't even think twice about it. How are we able to keep our blood flow to our brains up? How do we maintain cerebral perfusion? Uh, well, the bodies, you know, it's one of those where you read in physiology, you put the book down and applaud. This is one of those. As the blood is draining out of the head, you have sensors um, in the brain, as well as in the carotid arteries in the neck that sense that blood pressure is dropping and the blood flow to the brain is decreasing immediately within a few seconds. Um, messages go from the brain to a couple of places. They go down to the arteries and they say, arteries, I want you to constrict, let's tighten up those arteries and that's gonna raise the blood pressure like putting your thumb over the end of a garden hose, you know, the pressure increase is coming out. So you get a you know, mild vasoconstriction that helps keep the blood flow up. But very importantly, a message also goes down to the heart. And so we need, let's turn up the pump a bit. Well, we need some extra pressure from the engine room there. And so the heart begins beating faster and a little stronger with each beat. And between those two mechanisms, between the vasoconstriction, the subtle squeezing of the blood vessels and the uh, compensatory in compensation, uh, increase in, in heart rate, uh, whoop, the pressure comes up and you go to the bathroom and brush your teeth and don't think twice about it. That's the, the beauty of having a healthy body and a healthy autonomic nervous system. We have this amazing system that takes care of all that for us that runs automatically. But there are some people whose mechanism not so finely tuned. Uh, they may have uh, disease of their nervous system. They may have Parkinson's disease. They may have a really severe B12 deficiency. Uh, they may be getting over an infection with uh, Lyme disease and possibly COVID. Uh, but there are things that can damage this very subtle, precise mechanism. And what happens, these folks get up out of bed, their blood pressure drops severely, um, and the message goes out, we've got the pressure back up and the blood vessels squeeze a bit, but the heart starts beating really quickly and it doesn't stop beating really quickly. It just stays 150, 160 for 20 minutes for an hour. <clears throat> uh, so this is a tachycardia, means fast heartbeat. And orthostatic, ortho means straight, static is standing, okay? So standing up straight, there's a fast heartbeat from changing in posture. So that's where the P comes in. So postural orthostatic <clears throat> tachycardia syndrome. Um, so what can be done about this? And can a whole food plant-based diet uh, help? Uh, it can certainly help a bit. Uh, why? And again, I've got no double-blind placebo-controlled studies here, uh, but it's possible that a meat-based diet, especially with everything that comes in with the standard American diet, all the, the, the sugars and the oils and the fragments of animal protein and the high salt content, there, there's a, a lot of these things that um, could uh, prevent the heart muscle from, from calming down to uh, sometimes, especially if the person's under stress, uh, they stand up, not only does the brain tell the heart to beat faster, but the brain also tells the adrenal glands, release some adrenaline, some epinephrine, 
uh, and that makes the heart beat fast. But then you get that, that stays in the bloodstream. The person is uh, uh, under stress, so they put out a good squirt of adrenaline, and that stays high for 20 minutes or an hour, and thumpity, thumpity, thump uh, continues during that time. So these are folks who are where they're, 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 this, this very subtle mechanism is, is tuned up too high, the, uh, uh, the, the radio's uh, too loud, getting static there, if you will, bad analogy there. But uh, their fine tuning that we take for granted is not working well. So do everything you can do to help that brain work well. A whole food plant-based diet may uh, reduce some of the interfering uh, forces there. <clears throat> but I did mention salt and actually, uh, uh, you know, the salt in a, in, a, in a fast food burger or whatever comes in with, you know, lots of contaminating substances. But salt itself plays a beneficial role here. Um, the person who is, especially if they are a lean, skinny person, those folks are really prone to this. They stand up and boom, that blood pressure drops. Uh, the blood goes down to their legs, their leg veins expand to take in that extra blood. And they get these profound drops. The obese people, the people with lots of fat on their body, the, the leg veins are squeezed by the fatty tissue so much that they're, they don't uh, dilate as much to accept that blood that's coming down from above here. Um, but if you're a skinny person really getting uh, very symptomatic every time you get out of bed, uh, then you're someone who might benefit from more salt in the diet to raise your blood volume a little bit, uh, raise your blood pressure a little bit, so your heart doesn't go into full alarm mode, you don't get these big drops there. So what does that mean? That means uh, a reasonable thing to do for a very lean plant-based eater who's experiencing you know, tachycardia when they stand up. Um, have, put some more tamari sauce on your rice. Uh, have an extra dill pickle or two with your sandwich. If you can get some uh, baked chips or whatever, uh, find a way to get some, some salt in that's least damaging uh, if, if you can. Uh, and that may also be a benefit. <clears throat> and finally, the brain is... Uh, as a very fatty organ there. Uh, it might also make some sense to take some algae-derived DHA to, get, to make sure the blood pressure mechanism in your base of your brain is all the nutrients it needs. So I would probably uh, put this person on 250 or 300 milligrams of DHA uh, on a daily basis there. Uh, and um, there might be uh, a place for a, uh, for a low-grade um, adrenal substance, DHEA, uh, 25 milligrams of that. So I don't want to be dispensing medical advice here, but uh, again, a whole food plant-based diet, some extra salt-containing foods, I would get the person on some DHA, and, and, and only if after a month or two that didn't help, might consider adding 25 milligrams of DHEA, dehydroepiandosterone, uh, that you can get off the internet there. Don't go more than a 25 milligram dosage on that. Okay, long answer, uh, but yes, uh, the, there's no reason not to go on a whole food plant-based diet, just about for any medical condition, but certainly POTS as well, and a little more salt. And exercise is important. Yeah, go out for a good walk. If you can jog, um, exercise by get those muscles really firm. And, uh, and so the blood the arteries going through those muscles have know that there's good tone around them. Uh, that may help the, uh, uh, the changes in posture from happening as well. So uh, good luck with that. It can be a very annoying, disturbing uh, process. Um, does, you know, if you're driving a car long distance, the blood may pool down in your legs and some people get thumpity thump after a long drive. So it's a good idea anyway, get out of that car every hour and walk around to prevent blood clots, etc. But it may but also uh, uh, help you uh, from keeping that blood pressure falling too low. Um, uh, on a long drive, I'll pull over the rest area put the seat back, put my feet up on the dashboard, just let the blood drain out of my legs uh, back up in the upper part of my body. So keep that blood circulating and uh, hopefully you won't have to deal with the thumpity thump of uh, postural orthostatic tachycardia syndrome. Well, you said it was a long answer, but it was full of great information. So <laughs> thank you so much, Dr. Clapper. Hi everyone, Dr. Michael Clapper here announcing our new format 
for our Q&A with Dr. K. Andy Hagen will be asking me one question that's been sent in by our viewers. So if you want to see if your question is getting answered, do join us for our Q&A with Dr. K right here. Hope to see you then.